Hey everybody, welcome back. I have an update on one of the craziest Bridezilla stories I have ever covered on this channel. We're gonna touch on that at the end of the video, but first, we're gonna do some wedding shaming. So I went to a wedding this weekend that I thought was just my cousin's wedding. Cousins, apostrophe S, as in my cousin, but it turned out to be a wedding for my cousins. Yes to the yes, no to the apostrophe. You see, I got the wedding invitation in early December. And to me, this was the perfect get out of Christmas free card because I'm like, if I'm going to a wedding with you guys in February, I'm not spending Christmas with you. I don't know if you know any Puerto Ricans from Elizabeth, New Jersey, but Christmas is not a holiday that you want to spend with them because they talk too loud, drink too much, and someone ends up fighting in a <laughs> wedding venue i know that they have to keep it together i know they have to be more respectful and their wives are going to keep them in check you would think so i was that. like i'm gonna go to that i'm not gonna go to christmas perfect we go to the wedding me and my wife i see tito tito's the one getting married and my cousin the one that i know he's getting married to juana de la plancha a woman that i don't know right and i'm talking to him like i'm so happy you know i've been married for a while i could give you some pointers don't talk too much to her you're always gonna get in an argument he's laughing you know he's 43 <laughs> and i was like fine it's about time good advice he's like yeah we have a three-year-old kid i was like oh Really? I haven't seen you in that long. He's like, yeah, you know, I knew. And I'm like, how did you meet her? He's like, well, I've always known her, you know, growing up. We just kind of had a falling out, but we got together one night, had a kid, and we've decided to make it work and we're making it official. I was like, you know what? Congratulations, Tito. That's awesome for you. And then I'm talking to his dad, my uncle. I'm like, Unc, where the f is her family? He's like, what do you mean? I was like, where's her family? Everyone here I know. Like, who, where's her family? Like, point out where's... Where's his mother? Like, who's his mother here? And he points to a woman. I'm like, isn't that your half-sister, Unc? He's like, yeah, that's my half-sister. And that's when it hit me. And that's when I shut down. I literally stopped wait. talking. I had wait, wait, nothing wait. else to say to anyone. I, all of the blood rushed from my head down to my out of the embarrassment my blood did not want to be seen by anyone you know so it was like hiding i wanted to go like this and pretend like this wasn't actually happening my wife is like what's the matter with you junior you need to liven up like this is your family they haven't seen you in so many years everyone's talking to you and you don't give them nothing i'm like i have nothing left to give to these people i don't even understand why we're still here she's like what the f are you talking about preppy up mother I'm like you don't understand what's happening right now she's like no i don't understand all i understand is that you're being an i'm like okay no problem you're gonna get it at some point yeah at one point's gonna come and you're gonna understand cut to the wedding ceremony everything oh. starts the kid is walking down with the rings their kid three years old normal to my surprise the kid is normal that must be you know because he's <laughs> he's only 75 percent same blood 25 percent he's different blood so maybe that makes a world of a difference in the genetic pool that that kid is normal but you know who knows what's gonna happen in the future ask the when they first. say is there anyone that has any any reason why these two shouldn't be joined i'm like no no none of you mother <laughs> are gonna say anything i just found out today so i wouldn't even know where the to start you people should have more information some three of you be like hey no no <laughs> don't do it this is wrong this is wrong in the eyes of literally everyone it should be but not anyone here i was like okay as soon as the ceremony was done i was out i didn't want no reception i didn't want to drink with these people and this is why i don't with family this is why i have this is not exactly why this is not the reason why i stopped <sighs> with you people but this is now another reason why i don't <laughs> with you people i was thinking like maybe she's you know like an orphan she doesn't i'm the orphan now. all my family <laughs> dead i don't have any family oh, oh junior where your family they all died in a terrible plane accident you didn't find out yeah it happened 1999 some shit yeah all of them dead okay so the family tree is a little more like a wreath do you hang that wreath on the door? Not just on Christmas either. Is everyone aware of the situation? Like, does everyone know about that stuff? Was someone adopted? Like, are they not actually related? But like, even so, that's like still weird. That's still weird. And I'm not sure it's it's entirely legal, is it? <laughs> a little Leo's comment. Oh Lord, it's not a family tree anymore. It's a family wreath. <laughs>
<laughs> it's not like a huh. It's like a huh. When did your wife figure it out though? Honestly, I would have paid to see the look on her face. Christmas not looking so bad, huh? Like literally, you could have just had a glass of wine and some turkey and called it a day. That's disgusting. You're disgusting. You people are disgusting. POV, you give two idiots the family heirloom knife to cut their cake. Oh God. Oh, look at look at the little cake topper. <laughs> That's Mickey and Minnie. That's kind of cute. What are they gonna do though? <laughs> oh, they broke it. No, actually. No. No. Oh, actually, no. It's very old. That's too hard. Why'd you, why'd you cut? It's a cake. You're not cutting into a boar. It's a cake. It's soft. We don't need to be pushing that hard. No, they fully tried to cut the table. <laughs> Bride's best friend booked her wedding the same weekend as we did. My partner and I got engaged in May 2022, and we booked a Friday in September 2024 back in 2022. All right, so it's two years. Give everybody a heads up. Told all the close family and friends our plans and our wedding date and location when we booked it, and we were very open to the friends and close family about when and where it was. Then one of the bride's best friends got engaged in the summer of 2023. My fiance, the bride, then asked her friends to be bridesmaids and this newly engaged friends to be maid of honor. In December, 2023, the maid of honor approached my fiance about getting married in September of 2024, out of the blue. I mean, that's definitely a lot for one month. I got, I got two best friends weddings this year and they're spaced out by a couple of months, but even that is like a lot, it's a lot. Between all of the wedding events uh, with all of them, it's it, it's like a lot. I can't imagine two best friends having a wedding in the same month. She said she always wanted a September wedding. <sighs> Fair, same. And my fiance was a bit shocked and said, it's really not my place to say you can't have a wedding in the same month as I do. Then a week later, one week later, she says in a friend's group chat that she's booked her venue. They asked where and when, it's about an hour away from where we all mostly live. And, and it's the day after our Friday wedding. Okay. Yeah, a little close for comfort. So like, at least it's not the same day, but like, mm, you couldn't have picked a different weekend or something. She also plans on doing the ceremony at noon and my fiance will be in the bridal party meeting an 8 a.m. start after your wedding night? Absolutely not. Hell to the no. Same with all my fiance's baby mamas. Bridesmaids, not baby mamas. They'll be in her party. A male friend that's really close to the friend group has a wedding on that Saturday already, so he can't attend her wedding. I'm sorry, the last thing that I would wanna do after my wedding, a night where you're literally going to be drinking until like God knows when, is to have to get up the next day at 8 a.m., uh, for 8 a.m., so earlier, pull yourself together, and then go be a bridesmaid in another wedding. Absolutely not. Morning after I get married, I am going to be sleeping until 2 p.m. and then being force-fed caviar and champagne in bed. My fiance instantly rejected the <laughs> baby, the bridesmaid's question, saying it's gonna be difficult to attend the wedding, let alone be a bridesmaid. The friend group all expressed the same thing. My fiance also rescinded her maid of honor request due to this friend being too busy to properly be a maid of honor. Okay, so because she chose this wedding date, now she also can't be your maid of honor. I don't know if it's worth the trouble, dude. You really couldn't have just done a different weekend? Some of the friends expressed they don't know if they can financially do two bridesmaids back to back like this. That's the other thing too. Like between my two friends getting married and then, you know, two other weddings. There's four weddings that I'm attending. So bachelorette parties, wedding showers, engagement parties, engagement presents, the wedding itself. One of them's a destination where we have to book an Airbnb. Like I understand some people wanting to get married right away and that's what they want. But I really, really think that we also need to be considering the financial burden we're putting on other people and also the time that other people have to put in in order to celebrate you and your engagement and your wedding. It's a lot. It's a lot for other people. I can tell you right now, I just did a bachelorette party and I'm just close, close to never, ever, ever holding any sort of bachelorette party myself. The amount of stress that it has caused, the amount of money that I have spent. Oh. 
Forget about it. I've never been fond of this friend, in all honesty. And now she's breaking down how she's stressed about planning a wedding with only nine months. This is the other thing too. Like, I understand you want to get married, but like, that's a little fast. She says she has no help from her fiance with planning. She's using our photographer and florist because she doesn't have time to research. So they just piggybacked onto our research, which I don't care about. This is more of a rant, but man, what an illogical move by this friend to book the day after her best friend's wedding. This is the thing. All right, before I get to the update, if you're gonna book a wedding the same year as your friend, you have like the license to do that. You absolutely do. Everybody's just kind of got to keep in mind that like people only have so much money. There's only so many weekends available. There's only so much time that people can lend to all of your wedding events and all of the gifts that you expect and all of the, you know, shots that we got to buy. We got to be understanding if we are going to book a wedding the same year as another friend, the same month, same weekend. We got to be understanding that other people might not be able to handle it. You're just going to have to be okay with it if people can't show up and people can't spend more money on you. Now to the update. I commented on a couple of posts throughout the thread. However, we have an update as of a few minutes ago. Friends sent out save the dates with September date, day after hours a couple of weeks ago. This morning, the friend contacted her guest by saying she has gotten the date wrong and it's actually in August. Okay, so before your wedding. So she's changed it so that she's now getting married before you got it. <laughs> My fiance contacted the friend being like, WTF is happening. And the friend said she moved the date due to the September wedding not working out, but didn't want to say the reason to her family. My fiance said, I'm not in your wedding party, but still at least you moved the date. If people ask why I'm not, I won't lie and say the story. She wants everybody to be hung over at her wedding. What if you guys had plans to do a honeymoon immediately after? She's being extremely selfish, but it will only be in her own detriment. I mean, at least she moved it, you know, like at least she moved it. Yes, it's before you, blah, blah, blah. There might be a little bit of politics there going on, but like she moved it. So hung over, exhausted, emotionally drained, financially drained. WTF was this girl thinking? Well, this is the thing about people getting married. They kind of just think that every, because they're getting married, everybody can just suck it up and make it happen. And I'm sorry, but like it is it's just like, it's just so selfish. Like all of it is just so selfish. <laughs> I hate it. She was trying to divide the loyalties of the friend group. Oh, that's a hot take. Maybe she, you know, had the date and so few people said that they could attend that she was forced to move it. And I feel like that's what would happen. You know, realistically, if someone did that in my friend group, I'd be like, sorry, man, no way. <laughs> Literally no way. Because you would effectively probably have to choose one wedding over the other. And you're not going to do that if you've already agreed to a different wedding. All right, moving on now to the moment you have been waiting for. We have an update on the craziest story I've ever shared on this channel. Entitled Bridezilla scams bridal party out of $7,000. We have permission from the original poster to share it. Many of you have wanted me to cover this update. You've been in my DMs. I, I see it. I see the DMs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the heads up. And if you haven't seen the original video, I'm going to link it. I'm going to link it. It's up there somewhere. Go watch that before you watch this update, okay? I'm not going to get into the details. That's up to you. Ain't going to waste any more time. Let's get into it. Update. The wedding is off. How am I know what? Can't say I'm surprised. Can't say I'm surprised at all. Oh, there's a big surprise. I'm not sure I would want to marry someone who I found out scammed all of her friends out of $7,000 so that she could get a boob job. All right, y'all, get your comfy socks on and your popcorn. Girl, I've been ready. Look at this, look at this. There are unicorns on these bad boys. I've been holding on to this update for so long and I have to get it all out there. I feel like at this point, we've all become good friends. Yes, we have. Hello, nice to meet you. Thank you for sharing your amazing story. Literally, when I do these updates, I like to imagine we're all sitting together eating snacks and gossiping. <laughs> I'm on a desktop right now, so you know I mean business. Oh, I do, girl, I do. Anyways, let me start with this. The wedding is officially off. That's an incredible. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack and die from that surprise. I know a lot of you out there were team cancel the wedding, so this should warm your soul. It does, it does, it makes me happy. Sorry, I don't like to enjoy people's downfalls, but like, I feel like it's kind of warranted in this, in this very special case. For me personally, I wanted it to work out for my brother despite her insanity. I was kind of hoping this would somehow all blow over like a bad dream and he could finally find normalcy again. Unfortunately, that is not at all the case. Here's what happened. When I last updated you, sister-in-law had pulled up to the bachelorette with a set of new melons and shocked us all. 
we were left wondering, WTF? And I told you I needed to stop the updates to protect my brother's privacy. Well, that has all changed now. <laughs> good, 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 good. And I've been given permission by my brother to spill the Let's go! My brother was aware the sister-in-law had planned on getting a breast augmentation at some point this year. He actually knew it would be during the bachelorette trip. Despite thinking it was very weird, he wanted to support her. So he kept her surprise a secret. What he did not know was that she may have used the bridesmaid's money or even her dad's to finance it. But it turns out she did not in fact use our money. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Or her dad's money to pay for the new titties. That's because her procedure was on the house. Why, you ask? Stop. No, what am I reading right now? What did I just read? She's been having an affair with the surgeon for over a year. Bombastic side eye! Yes, you read that correctly. She's been diddling... <laughs> her married plastic surgeon for more than 14 months. He is a very well-known plastic surgeon and his legal team has been on me like white on rice. <laughs> Girl, thank you so much for risking everything to tell us this tea. There are limits to what I can disclose. At this current moment, I've been advised not to disclose the state he practices in, his name, or any personally identifying details. Back to the story. He wanted to fly her out for a complimentary titty upgrade. <laughs> no. We found out because his wife. <laughs> Really putting it all on the line for some new titties, eh? Were they worth it? I gotta see them to find out if they were worth it. You know, like, I really need to see what they look like. <laughs> His wife found her sad little influencer Instagram page, tracked her down, and showed up to the family home, which would be her father's house because she still lives there. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Lord Almighty, I pray and I thank you for this tea. I thank you so much. This is the most exciting thing that's happened to me all week. There's so much to say that I think I'm gonna have to split this into two updates because my fingers are legit going numb. I really wanted to get that off my chest. I know you might be wanting to know the specifics like, so where did all the money go? After all, I also would like to know that. Was it spent on the ice swan? I'm very confused. Where did that money go? How did the wife find out and what happened when she showed up? That's an update in itself. How is my brother handling this? Besides, of course, leaving her dusty. What does sister-in-law have to say for herself? I promise I will be back to finish this horror story. We are ready and waiting. And I thought I would just end it with this light little update because she found our video. I thought you should all know that I now have to submit all my updates to an attorney for legal review before I can post them here. Okay, so fair. Might just slow down the process a little bit. You cover your bases, baby girl. You cover those bases. The steel home is Hill and he is safe. This is primarily because of the high profile surgeon who is aware of this threat and his legal team. The wife is also in the mix and wants to minimize fallout. So I'm dealing with her people as well. They can't stop me from telling the story, but they can come after me if I disclose specific things. Basically everyone knows about this post now, sister-in-law included, but I promise I'm coming back to finish spilling the tea for you all on that. Ready your kettles. I've been ready, girl. I've been ready. My teacup's in the wash right now, but I'll make sure it's clean for this. Shout out to the podcast and other channels who picked it up for a live reading. The ones I'm aware of include Thread Talk and Charlotte Dobre. That's me. That's me. I love listening to these. It's a cool perspective. So feel free to DM me if you come across any others. Okay, yeah, just a quick shout out to this creator, Dork Vader 23 on Reddit. And she's also posting her updates on her Instagram page. Page, Juliet Pepperwood. But I mean, you should also stick around to watch me live update to this. Live react, if you will. Girl, I'm so happy that wedding is off. But I still have so many unanswered questions. Still though, I'm very, very grateful that your brother is not marrying this person. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait for the next update. Subscribe!